everyone, what's up? Welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. And I hope you're in the mood for a good fairy tale retelling because that's what I've got for you today. And if you've been following me a while, you shouldn't be surprised because y'all know that's one of my favorite genres. And today I've got a really good one for you that was like nothing like I was expecting. It's Bound by Briar by Morgan Wad. And like, it. If you haven't guessed with the whole Briar thing, it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. But this ain't nothing like the Beauty and the Beast retellings you're used to. There is a rose and there is a beast and a curse that a chick has to break, but that's about all it's got in common. We've got Fae, we've got a bunch of ghosts. Like, there is a little, like, romance and even, yeah. I just, like, I don't want to spoil it, but, like, they kind of gave you a hint, and you're like, that's, the yeah, that would kind of work, but that's not how that tale goes, but that, hmm, which way is this gonna go? And they kind of kept you going up until the end, and, oh, it was so much freaking fun. It was, like, about 400 odd pages, so it was a really long fairy tale retelling, and, a little bit deeper than some of the others. This one actually took me about a week to read. It's on Kindle Unlimited. So go freaking check that one out. Oh my goodness. But I love it. It's just like he gets cursed because, you know, the Fae and the humans have been at war since forever. And like the humans kicked the Fae out of their land and they're like, um, excuse you, you thought you were just gonna, like, get away with this, you measly little non-magic, you know, brats? Oh, no, no, no. But the Fae have a rule of they can't kill their own if they're in their, like, home. So, they gotta pay in some more creative ways. And, like, we get this, uh, the, like, head chef is a ghost, and is the one running everything. And we've got legends about ghosts. And it's like, you either hate them or you love them. And it's just, it, listen, I've watched Beauty and the Beast probably like a billion times since it came out when I was a little kid. I've seen the version with Hermione. Actually, pretty good. I, I kind of, well, some of the songs didn't really do it for me. But I like how they updated it and, you know, let Belle be a little bit more badass. So, even though, like, I'm a 90s Disney girl, that was actually a good remake. But even still, you are not going to guess what happens. And I love a good retelling where there's enough nods that, yeah, you know what this is, but you don't already know exactly what's going to happen. And, dude, we, we get a little bit of humor. We get some snark. We get a little bit of growth. Some, yeah. Like, Belle is freaking feisty in this one, and, oh, just, yeah, I don't know what to say other than, you love Beauty and the Beast, you want a retelling that you don't already know what's gonna happen, go get this one, I promise you will not regret it, and I will see you soon, bye, happy reading!